So this is Steve, um, he's been volunteering with the Broader View here in Xela in Guatemala. Um, Steve, maybe you can introduce yourself quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm Steve, uh, currently living in Alaska. I grew up in Michigan in the United States and uh, this is my first uh, volunteering trip and it went really well. I uh, enjoyed it a lot. And at what project did you volunteer? Uh, the orphanage in Xela in Guatemala. And what were your like daily tasks at the project? Um, kind of just help out wherever uh, it was needed. Um, I was in the classroom or this classroom uh, a lot, helping with uh, arts and crafts and uh, out at recess or cancha. We would I'd play football with the kids and uh, kind of just help out and generally just uh, kind of be with the kids and support them in whatever they were doing. <laughs> All right, and what was the most memorable thing of your volunteer experience? Uh, I don't know, probably the, the people I volunteered with and the kids. Uh, I mean, there's so many of them and um, it's, I've learned a lot from them and just it was really opening the whole experience. And the other volunteers with the broader view were all really cool and, uh, you know, when, after volunteering in Spanish, uh, we'd go on different hikes and activities, so it was overall really good and memorable. And how was your accommodation like? Um, the host family was amazing. Uh, Sandra and Sergio were really awesome and uh, the house was very nice and the uh, food was amazing. Uh, it was a really laid back kind of fun atmosphere, a lot of joking and uh, I felt at home like the first day and uh, Sandra was super helpful with everything and uh, overall like it was one of the like better or best homestays I've ever done so um, it was really really good. All right and you also did Spanish classes and did you like it and was it helpful? Yeah it was definitely uh, pretty helpful it was um, my teacher was really interesting he uh, taught me a lot about the history of Shayla and culture and so we talked a lot of, about different topics like that and really practiced uh, just general conversation so it was helpful. Nice. And what did you do in Shayla in your free time? Um, in my free time in Shayla, uh, one weekend we went, uh, me and or two other volunteers and I uh, went horseback riding outside of Shayla and that was pretty fun. It was a good day and a good time and uh, this last weekend uh, another volunteer and I um, took the a chicken bus out to the hot springs and up in the mountains and that was really really cool um, it was a it was really fun just getting there it was a beautiful drive and the next day uh, Sunday um, we climbed up uh, Santa Maria which is the volcano and left at 5 in the morning and it was a good strenuous hike and we spent a couple hours at the top and watched uh, a couple eruptions from the other uh, volcano nearby and it was really good um, I wish I had more time here, there's a lot to do, and uh, Shayla is really a beautiful city and safe and really kind of active and I, I liked it a lot. Good. And why did you cho choose a broader view and how was their support? I, uh, this is my first time volunteering and there's so many organizations online and I really had no clue where to start and I found jobs through Cool Works before, which is a website, and uh, they popped up on there and I, uh, I was getting off of work in two weeks and I hadn't made any plans and I called uh, Sarah uh, at the headquarters and I just kind of explained, you know, I am, you know, I only have two weeks and I'm sorry about the short notice and she found me this program really fast and was really helpful and supportive and before I knew it, I was had everything ready to go, and it was really very thoroughly thoroughly done. And there was everything's gone super smooth. Uh, the support staff here, uh, Juan and Petro, have been amazing, uh, um, super reliable and friendly, and uh, very easy to get a hold of and supportive. So overall, the whole trip has been uh, it's gone off without a hitch, and it's been really smooth and. Uh, no problems at all. Cool. And would you recommend this program to future volunteers? And do you maybe have any tips for them what to do or what to bring? Um, I would definitely recommend the program. Uh, you know, coming into the orphanage was very 
uh, opening for me. I, you know, I expected it to be pretty kind of chaotic and out of hand, and but it was definitely it took some time to get used to, and I was really open-minded about it. And just sometimes, even when you feel like you're not helping that much, just your presence to the kids is a lot. So that means a lot to them, and just like little hugs and everything like that is means so much to them even though sometimes it feels like you're not physically doing too much but just you know talking with the kids and being there really means a lot to them and I'd say definitely uh, keep an open mind when you come and really have no expectations uh, be ready for anything and then uh, kind of just be prepared to dial the clock back a little bit because everything's a little bit slower and but once you get used to it it's kind of nice you there's no rush and you know just always kind of be ready to be 15 minutes late kind of for everything and it's it works out good it's smooth and not too much of a hassle at all so yeah all right well thanks a lot for all the good advice and for all your good work oh cool thank you and i hope you have a good trip back i definitely will. yeah i will thank you hope to volunteer again with you guys and uh looking forward to planning another trip thank you yeah, you're welcome por Señor, mira este niño chiquito ya sabe ¿sí? que la Carmencita quiere el polo. Una gota de loja. Señor, la Carmencita quiere el bueno niños ya nos vamos adiós muchas gracias gracias que les vaya bien adiós